If you just transcend this one thing, ninety percent of your spiritual work is over, that's all. The basis of bondage is just this, I like this, I don't like this. Once you divide creation like this, your ability to touch that dimension is out of reach for you. When you start doing what is needed, there is no such thing as what is it that I like and what is that… what is it that I do not like. If you just transcend this one thing, that I like something, I dislike something, if you just transcend this one thing, ninety percent of your spiritual work is over, that's all. Because the karma, the karma generating machine, the basis of bondage is just this, I like this, I don't like this, I love this, I don't… I hate this. Once you divide creation like this, your ability to touch that dimension which we call as the source of creation is out of reach for you. I want you to pay attention. All of you should pay attention to small things, a blade of grass, a leaf, an ant, Closely, you must look at an ant. Whoever made this ant, whoever made this ant, has it been made… made with meticulous attention or simply, okay, blood, just a bloody ant? Huh? What do you think? Very well made? Well made or no? Very well made, isn't it? Fantastic ant actually, not just a bloody ant. So if the creator, if the source of creation is willing to pay that much attention to a tiny little ant, who the hell are you to decide what you like and what you dislike? Doing something beyond what is me is where a human being comes to a place where he becomes available for grace. Grace is there question is, are we available? This is what this culture taught you. You see a tree of oh, Shiva, you see a stone, Shiva, you see a dog, Shiva, you see a cow, Shiva. If you're like this, grace will be upon you. There's no question. You don't have to go in search. You don't have to go in search of God or truth, it will rain upon you. Now, we all heard from Sadhguru what are the effects of responding to a situation and reacting to a situation. Now, let us go a little more deep into it and see what Karma book of Sadhguru talks about. Now, in this book, it is mentioned about Gautama. Now, Gautama the Buddha speaks about the four aspects of mind. That is, Vinyana, Cognition, Sanya, Recognition, Vedana, sensation and Sankara, that is reaction. Now let us suppose a sound comes to your ears. It enters the first aspect of your mind, that is Vinyana. Now Vinyana cognizes that this is a sound, not a smell, taste or sight. Now Sanya recognizes the source of the sound, whether the sound is coming from a bird, from a tree, from a person speaking or so on. But how does it recognize it? Now, every sound you have ever heard has been recorded. So, a vast library of sound exists within you. Without a past impression, there is no possibility of recognition. If, for instance, if you hear the sound of a pickup for the very first time, your mind will just get confused. But 10 days later, if you hear it again, Sanya will now recognize it immediately that this is the sound of a pickle. Now take another example. If someone is bursting crackers, you may go into ecstasy, but your grandfather may have a nervous breakdown. The same sound creates a pleasant sensation in one person and drives the other one crazy. Now, when you recognize the sound through Vinyana and Sanya, Vidana swings into action and produces a sensation. If you recognize this as a music, 
pleasant sensation will happen if you recognize this as a noise unpleasant sensation will happen it is not the sound itself but the way it is imprinted on you that makes you recognize it as pleasant or unpleasant so the very way in which you experience life whether you see it as sweet or sour beautiful or ugly pleasant or unpleasant is your responsibility as your ability to respond is what determines the nature of your experience now you are a sensory being right your entire experience of life is a certain sensation if you don't feel a certain sensation you may not be even aware that the part of your body exists it is vedana that reminds you that you exist by giving you the experience of sensation this way you will recognize the sensory input in the way you experience life vinyana sasanya and vidana that is cognition recognition and sensation are automatic and takes place in just a split second however the fourth part of the mind that is sankara is related to reaction and is entirely in your conscious control if a pleasant sensation arises and you say that you love it your sankara immediately says oh he or she loves it so now it is stored in your love bag forever but if an unpleasant sensation arises and you strongly feel that i hate it your sankara will immediately say that he or she hates it it is then stored in the hate bag forever Now if you find yourself oscillating between the craving and the aversion love and hate your karma is growing in a rapid pace your bondage is intensifying if you have strong likes and dislikes your suffering is also more intense but another scenario is also possible if a sensation arises you have a choice whether to react or to respond now once you are able to exercise this choice you simply experience the sensation of what it is if you generate a strong reaction you will just distort the experience but if you remain equanimous the karma attached to that type of sensation begin to crumble within you with equanimity your entire structure of karma begins to collapse all it takes is a willingness to experience everything the way it is you are not avoiding experience or pursuing it you are simply open to enjoy the different flavors of life without seeking one and escaping the other so begin with this profound realization this moment is inevitable put differently there is a saying my ability to respond is just limitless if you are aware of this truth you will see that so much that seems to be restricting you right now will vanish it in just 24 hours being in awareness for just 3 minutes every day will enable you to see an immediate difference once you are able to steadily maintain the awareness you will find a time comes when there is no difference between you and buddha now as your acceptance deepens you also moves into a higher and higher levels of freedom Acceptance is freedom from the blame game, freedom from the drama of othering, freedom from the dance of duality. There is only you in this moment and no one else. Who then can you possibly blame? But when you keep resisting, you are creating deeper levels of bondage. Seeing that your ability to respond is limitless is profoundly important because this ability goes way beyond our present level of understanding and perception now lastly most human beings do not realize the tremendous power of creativity that they have been endowed with now this is because most of their creations are determined by their compulsiveness not by their freedom so anything created by the limitation will be limited but if you see your ability to respond is limitless the power to create is super enhanced So hope after watching this video some transformation might have happened within you and now you will surely practice your choice of reacting or responding to a situation so thank you for watching the full video and if you found the video meaningful do not forget to give it a like share and subscribe up to next stay safe healthy happy and namaskaram